Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist, welcoming you to the first annual Slow Dog Eating Contest. Joining us is former world record holder, hot dog eating champion, Takuro Kobayashi, and he will attempt to eat a single hot dog. So screw Nathan's, baby. We're actually slowing this thing down and doing it right. Kobe, are you ready to eat a hot dog, my friend? Of course, I'm ready so wrong. Let the eating begin. Kobe is going in with a fork and a knife. Not the right way to eat a hot dog. There is no right or wrong way, as long as it ends up in your stomach. You can see him meditating. Guys, I'm by the way, oh, he's begun. checking he's with in. Kobayashi right now, what he is doing is splitting the hot dog down the middle. I'm oh. not particularly sure this is a new move. how that oh. actually seen that move. groundbreaking. Right. Not sure exactly what that does in terms of the maybe, slow enjoyment. To maybe a hot dog. it's condiment related. Ooh, or absolutely. or he is doubling the number of times he bites the dog. Ah, absolutely. Because now there's twice the length. Exactly. That he was is there before. One Wait a with minute. The hot dog. Guys, he's not just splitting it down the middle, he's actually deconstructing the hot dog altogether. He's split the bun and the dog, and now it looks as though he's cutting the hot dog into pieces. He broke the hot dog hinge. Abs uh, yes. no. The hinge. Is that in the rules? The, the, the hinge is where all, where all the gluten is working for the hot dog. Ah. Gluten is the flexible part of the of the of the flour. Right. When, when you well, when it's when it's baked. Yes. Right? So right. without gluten, you couldn't have hot dog hinges. The, oh, oh, he's just going for his he's in. first bite. We'll have to consult. We're splitting the bun again. Now, interesting. We call it a hot dog, but we've lost some of the sense of its origins. Really? Yeah, because it's, it's a Frankfurter. It's a Frankfurter. For, so from. No. Frankfurt, I, I guess. I mean, I'm guessing. <laughs> really? Because Europe, you know, when they make a food from a region, they right. add an ER at the end of it right. to show that it's of the region. Exactly. So people from Frankfurt would be Frankfurters. Frankfurters. And people from Hamburg. Would be hamburgers? Hamburger, why not? People yeah. from New York are New Yorkers. New Yorkers. Right. This is how that works. So where does ice cream come from? A cow. <laughs> okay, as long as I know. <laughs> oh, look at this. Kobayashi taking his time. But he's smiling. Really? He's, he's smiling. enjoying. Oh, wait, but he's enjo he's Maybe. enjoying. He's, I think he's actually tasting. Exactly. Not no. For the first time. For the very first time. Kobayashi has actually tasted a hot dog for the very first time. But, uh, maybe this will be on the news. But suppose he doesn't like it. Yes. That would freak him out. He would have nightmares about that. Wow. No, no, look at no, that face. Like he likes it. Look at that face. He loves it. Oh he doesn't God. just like it. He loves it. He can I taste the hot dog. It's what? taking its toll oh, on him. Oh, oh, oh. He's going in for sauerkraut. He's going the full, the full oh. up German way here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. Not a doubt. Speaking of Frankfurt. Frankfurt, yeah. 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 Here's the sauerkraut. This is cabbage pickled. Really? I think. Yeah. That that sounds, that's what it tastes like. That sounds good to me. Wow, look at this. He's going it's in. A another, it's another construction. Look at that. Such dexterity with oh, his fingers on, on the utensils. He's like a ninja with those. Really oh, enjoying the sauerkraut. Yeah. Yes. There's a word that we have for hot dogs in physics. Really? They're called prolate spheroids. A prolate spheroid. Yes, a hot dog. I, I, I feel uncomfortable the moment you say that. <laughs> yes, for some reason it feels like uh, something a doctor would do to my nether regions. <laughs> You have a prolate mm, exam. Yeah, I'm going to actually give you a prolate exam. <laughs> uh, among the kinds of spheres that right. there are, there's like the sphere we all know that's a perfect sphere. Right. But mm -hmm. if you squeeze a sphere at the equator, extending it pole to pole, mm -hmm. it becomes prolate. Gotcha. But we still want you to think of it as a kind of a sphere, a prolate spheroid. So, okay. And now if you squeeze it the other way, right. top yeah. to bottom, right. the equator bulges out, you get an oblate spheroid. Excellent. A burger. A, right. a, a burger. Okay, he's, he's, in, he's, he's in, he's in, he's in. He's, he's actually going for He's the changed up right with now. a spoon. He changed, now he's got two different kinds of mustards on it. Yes. Oh. oh my God. What do we have here? Are those cooked onions? That's, uh, that's, see, you put cooked onions on it. That's like street dog. That's what that like is. New York oh. City street that's dog. A, that's called a dirty water dog. <laughs> that's what that is. That's a the only way I have dirty water dog. dog. If, if I'm getting a hot dog in the streets of New York, that's right. it's going to have that on it. That's why New Yorkers are so brave. We actually eat food off of these filthy streets. <laughs> <But it's, laughs> Our immune point. system's got practice. <laughs> What? Just building the immune system. Build it, that's all it is. Like a toddler. The dude with the dirty fingernails right. and the stuff. Like a 40-year-old toddler just <laughs> building my immune system. <laughs> Walking around licking the floor. Oh, my God. Well, he's, well, he's trying to catch up now. That's okay. You know, when we were kids, we hadn't yet invented putting ketchup on its lid. No, exactly. No. It was all at the bottom, and it took you a half hour to get the ketchup to the lid. And that was the whole fun of ketchup. 
It was okay. like, get the damn ketchup right. out of the bottle. Ketchup was like Christmas. It was like <laughs> tomato Christmas. My God, it's coming at some point. I don't know when it's going to be here, but it's going to be great. Here we go. Oh. Here we are. Look at that. Yeah. Look, he's chewing. Uh, has he ever chewed before? I don't think so. I don't think. He just inhales the exactly. hot dog. This is another new sensation for him. Right, yeah. without a doubt. His taste buds are, are, are actually we, working. Are we ruining him? I don't think so. I it's, hope not. We've just introduced him to mastication. <laughs> Have we? Something I do quite a bit. <laughs> Only in private. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm so glad you shared. Gentlemen, I am telling you right now, we are at the eight minute mark. Mm-hmm. Can he, you believe it? He's eight not even minutes. halfway he's not there. He's even halfway done the hot dog. No, but he, he got it all, all that time was set up in contemplation. Yeah. This but he, he's in line to break the slow dog competition. <laughs> so, but here's something cool. So, humans, I don't know if you knew this, uh, we have genetically encoded within us the following thought. You ready? Go ahead. Go on. There's food in front of you, and you say to yourself, you never know when your next meal is going to come. So then you eat everything. As much as you can. As much as you can at that sitting. So we have to overcome that urge intellectually and say, I have to stop now. Right. But your body's saying, keep eating, keep eating, keep right. eating. Right. And that's why an hour later you say, oh my gosh, I ate too much. Mm-hmm. Did you say you ate too much while you were eating too much? No. No, no. So your whole body is designed to go out and get food not knowing how long it will be till your next meal arrives. I thought it meant that you were just American. <laughs> American at Thanksgiving. Right. <laughs> he has certain techniques that he can use to help his stomach expand. What's that? Hotter water. So if you drink cold water, it contracts mm-hmm. and spasms the stomach. Mm-hmm. If you drink hotter water, it allows the stomach, stomach to, to stretch. Extent. And it can go from four times its size. You soak the buns in the hot water. The water is absorbed into the buns quicker if it's warmer. The guy is a data analyst. Okay. He's a strategist. He is. So what So what he has done... He's actually agreeing with you. So, so he's turned eating into a science. Yes. Not just something that big hungry people do. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and right now, he's turned eating into an art. Because I got to tell you, he is almost done this hot dog. Ooh. And as slowly but we're as running, possible... we're running out of time. It looks as though we Ten, are nine, actually at eight, the seven, seven, oh. six... Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Look at that. Look at that. Oh, no. man. Talk about oh. slow, baby. Oh. He that can't is do it. slow goodness. He can't, he Wait, he it. can't even finish. No. Look at that. Do. He can't even finish. The mm. drama. Mm. I can't possibly finish it. Mm. Kobe, congratulations, man. You actually took 10 minutes to eat a hot dog and you didn't even finish. Kind of showing off, man. How did it feel? Well, I don't know. So this is my first time, but uh, I tried my best. So um, uh, do you plan on now eating slowly from now on? I think uh, I, I should train more. Oh, I got you. Yes. So a little more training and perhaps you'll have it down the way mm-hmm. you'd like. Um, Give me an idea of the quality of the hot dog. Mm. It wasn't really good. When you think about slow eating, is there any other food you'd like to eat slowly? Yeah, everything. I shall eat. Mm. 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 I so. savor food in my normal life. Do you like chestnuts? You think so? <laughs> so how much slower do you think you could go? I mean, that was 10 minutes, mm-hmm. and we still have a quarter of a hot dog left. OK. そうね。多分ね、これ、これが乾燥してサラミみたいに硬くなるまでゆっくり食べれると思う。Wow. Well, my friend, that is spoken like a true champion. Waiting until it's dried out like salami. That's Kobayashi, a hot dog. It's also my career. Thank you so much, Kobayashi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kobe. Take care. I'm going back to the booth. See you in a second, guys. He thinks about what he's done. He thinks strategically. He has analyzed like any athlete would. Anybody how who's the to best in the world better. at anything can only really get there by doing those things. So all I can say is, uh, are you guys up for getting something to eat? I'm hungry. I'm in. Fantastic. Well, thank you to Kobe. Thank you, Kobe. Kobe. Thank you. I've been Gary O'Reilly. I've been Chuck Nice. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. And this has been Playing With Science.